Yeah, um, good confidence builder. Um, I thought the first half especially was really good on the offensive end. Um, second half we got stagnant, but like we, you know, we, we played different lineups without, you know, without Rashonda and not have, you know, Madsen played some point, Mads, uh, Abby played some point. We work on a little two, you know, some some twenty-two to two kind of stuff, um, different ball screen coverages. So I think it it kind of stopped the rhythm of our, our offensive game, but um, really really good production one through ten today. Before the season, Janae said she was going to look for a shot more this year. You said you wanted. She's a her liar. To, yeah, uh, <laughs> nine points away from a triple double. That's just that's a, a JT line, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You know, I think Tim said it. It was the first what nine point. Nine points, double double on the year. I mean, that's just what we expect. Um, when we get points from her, it's it's a bonus. Uh, but in the, in the Big Ten play, like we've challenged her. Like she's got to take her pull up jumpers when teams don't guard her. Um, she's got to get offense rebounds and finish the bunnies. Um, she's got to be able to look for hers in transition, especially in Big Ten play when everybody knows she wants to pass and they stay home. She's got to be able to put the ball in a basket. Caitlin Harper, uh, I mean, when when you got her here, this is what you saw probably at yeah. a previous stop. Uh, comes off a zero point game and, and comes out and plays, you know, maybe your, your best game as a Boilermaker, um, aside from Penn State last year, maybe. So how do you get more consistent efforts like this out of her? And how is she playing well alongside Mary Ashley? Yeah, I think, uh, well, MA gives Caitlin an opportunity to be on the perimeter a little bit more because Mary Ashley posts so hard. And we didn't have that last year with Cass. Um, and then we never played really Caitlin and Ricky together. Um, so it kind of lets Caitlin roam. And, and Mary Ashley is getting more comfortable when Caitlin's on the block of taking 15 footers, you know, take, stretching the defense out a little bit. Um, y- y- Caitlin struggled against Valpo and, you know, it, thought she really, really locked in, got her, got her to see the ball go through the basket in practice, did a lot, took a lot of shots. But I thought our guards, you know, and in, in, in our force did a better job of putting her in positions to be successful. Against Valpo, we were throwing her lobs. Caitlin can't go get a lob. You know, like we've got to be able to go high, low and make good passes to her. And I thought we did a better job of that today. You get 38 combined from Caitlin and, and Madison. Um, is that the kind of production you will need in the Big Ten season oh, from, uh, from your veterans. Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, you throw in Abby. Um, you know, you want Jayla to, to, to find her, her rhythm back. Um, you know, like, Caitlin was so productive today, and I think we've got to continue to have that. You know, she does better against bigger posts. I think she feels, you know, the way she works the post, I think she does a better job. So Valpo was a really tough matchup for her. Um, but the way Madison was aggressive today, um, you know, I, I mean, she even drove the ball with her right hand today. Uh, but a couple times she drove uh, and missed. But, you know, like, she's got to trust that those who are putting pressure on the other team's defense. Like, Mary Ashley's going to go get an offensive rebound. I, I think Elena followed her her little left-handed drive up and got an offensive rebound put back. But that's the Madison that we need for the entire Big Ten stretch. Uh, even without Rashawn, did you feel like you got out and – and, and ran and, yeah, and got do. some transition. I do, be, especially there in the first half, because Madison's not afraid to throw the ball up. You know, she, the ball gets out of her hands a little bit quicker than it does um, JT and Rashonda. I mean, Rashonda's dribbling the ball up the court faster than anybody can run. But Madison was not; she's not afraid to throw it to Abby and Jayla in transition. And I think that was really good for us in the first half. Because what's Rashonda's status? Uh, just a just a. Um, Got a, 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 a health scratch right now, and uh, you know she'll be back when she's feeling feeling good. You guys had ten threes today. How's it help you as a coach knowing that your team's like performing so well from behind the arc? Yeah, I, you know I think Mike, you asked me the other day. I, I think we can be a team that shoots the ball like in the in the high thirties uh, from from the three point line. Um, I, I blame Ian for our, our lack of production or or. Uh, made free throws today. He puts the graphic out, and you know we're ninth in the country and made free throws and come out and go five for eleven at halftime. So we're a good shooting team, um, and I trust that that we can we can knock down open shots. How does it help you as a coach knowing that you have a guard that's like Janae that's so good at crashing the boards, but also just so good at passing as well? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I mean it. it I mean, she she just sees the floor really, really well, and especially when her guards get out and run and and in our post rim run the way you know Ma and, and Caitlin and Elena did today. Um, but I, I think she started the game with like what three offensive rebounds or whatever it was, um, and challenged her today to get in there on the backside and grab them, and and hopefully that continues for us.